Win at Home on Afternoon Express, where three design contestants are turning three empty properties at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Islands into dream homes using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Vote for your favourite and you could win. What an exciting season it has been and it's a brand new week for Win at Home on Afternoon Express. But for our design contestants, they're still tackling their master bedrooms. It's halfway through their third challenge and with less than a week left to complete the challenge, I went over to Valdiví to see how they're coming along. It's fine, okay, and then you can drop it all the way to here. Uh, Rudolph. Sorry to interrupt. Hello, Nina. How's it going? Good, and yourself? Very good, thank you. So this place is looking pretty interesting. I see different colours on the walls, I see paintings, I see new finishes since I came to see you last. How's it going? What have you got planned? No, it's all good. We're busy with the lighting here in the bulkhead. Um, we're going to carry through with the paint that we've used in the um, bathroom on the opposite walls and the side walls. But this is going to be feature wall and it's going to have some um, panning on here. And as mm. you can see, we've measured it out already this morning. So we're ready to start with that. So these are the different colour options that we're going for? Yeah. Have you got a thought process of which one you're going to choose yet? I'm not sure yet. Um, we've already made a selection with the curtaining colour and um, as you can see we have the artwork here so it's literally I still need to put on a second coat I don't want to make the same mistake I made last time with the bathroom ah. so I'm really gonna make sure these are all test the pots and then as soon as we've made a decision we can go for it so we want to try and make this room look a little bit bigger and I see you've gone with the sort of wood finishings that you've got here and less mirrors I don't know are there gonna be any mirrors in yeah. this space? no no mirrors um, but what I really like about this is that it adds luxury to the space as you can see it really yeah. it has warmth to it dressing room is something where you really want to feel comfortable in yeah. and um, make the right choice for the day. It kind of feels like you've gone with an elegance with that. It almost brings like a, an age with it, a wisdom with it, which I'm excited about because your bathroom is quite fresh. It's got that real that real foresty feel and it's light, it's fresh and friendly. Then this has got that slightly more sophisticated feel. What are you thinking bed-wise? Bed-wise, um, unfortunately, we can only fit a queen-size bed in here um, so that I still have enough space on either side for bedside tables. Well, it looks like it's coming along very, very nicely. Are you going to be done in time? Yeah, definitely. We'll make it. Cool. Well, he's confident. I hope our other contestants are too. Well, Rudolf seems to be well on his way and I'm really liking his vision. It's time now to catch up with Minenzle halfway through his master bedroom. Minenzle, the man I'm putting my money behind. How's it going? Uh, good in yourself. Better than last time. Very good, thank you. Yeah, better than last time, we hope. So it seems like a little bit more effort. There's actually paint on the wall. I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what have you got planned for this master bedroom? I'm still going with uh, taking the outside into the inside. So I'm still going for those very earthy colours. But I'm very, I'm definitely going bolder with the, just to make a statement behind the bed because I feel like I played it too safe with the guest bedroom just using one colour. I chose to carry the theme all the, around the, the apartment. So I for timber floors and that will act nice with the earthy colors that I'm bringing into the room. So my main feature is still going to be the back of the bed uh, where I'm going for this uh, very bold uh, headboard and I'm having the rest of the room in a very light color which I'm going to go for a clean and white. Um, so just to bring in some life into the room I'm going to still be bringing in some plants and I'm taking through the elements of that uh, modern frame. It's going to be seen in the furniture that I bring into the room. So viewers can, can expect that consistency um, between the guest bedroom, the bathroom, and um, the master bedroom. The detail is going to be very important in this room with the bold statement like your back wall. So what have you got planned with Caesar Stone here? Uh, with Caesar Stone, I'm bringing it as uh, shelving. So I'm just, um, I, just, I want to show the potential of Caesar Stone, how it works with other decorating items. So I'm going to bring it into the on both sides of my, of, my, of my bed as floating shelves. And I'm also having a third shelf that I'm going to decorate just to, so, to show the versatility of Caesar Stone. So naturally it's called a bedroom. What's the plan with the bed here? For the bed, I'm keeping up uh, with the very modern look that I went for in the guest bedroom. Mm -hmm. Having that frame bed which is very contemporary and very modern which is my type of style. So I thought it would work perfectly in this room because there's very high ceilings. So as you enter, it gives that sort of double volume feel. Yeah. Mm. So the viewers all want to know, I want to know, have there been any hiccups or will we finish on time this time? Uh, yes, definitely this time around. I uh, learned a lot from the previous experience. So yeah, we should be done on time. Good, well I'm glad to see you excited about this project. We've seen what the two boys are up to. Let's go find out what the lady of the home has got planned. Good luck. Cheers, man. So welcome to my halfway bedroom. Wow, it's actually looking pretty much done from a painting perspective, it yeah, seems. Yeah, the paint's done. Compared to the other guys. Uh, only thing I've noticed that's different is that you've got a hole in your wall. Yes, yeah, so I decided to 
to think a bit out of the box and I went for a hole in the wall for my headboard. So uh, it's going to be a bookshelf storage space above the head bed. Oh, I can see it, I can see it. So what is the big plan here? So what are you hoping to do? What still needs to be done? So I went for a very uh, white neutral palette as I did in my guest bedroom. I used In The Mood once again here. I really love the colour. It uh, reminds me of nature and it fits with the timber flooring. So I'm going to put the wooden bed right here with two bedside tables um, with lamps on them. Oh, it should be absolutely amazing. Have you used Caesar stone in the space? I used Caesar stone in my cupboards. It's going to be an exposed cupboard as I did in the guest bedroom, but with a bit of a twist. With this colour scheme, it seems like it's going to be nice and spacious and open, but what is going to be the wow factor? So I decided to print up and blow up, blow up one of my own photographs oh. against this wall. And also I painted my trusses to expose the architecture, the structure that was used. I really like the colour. So we should trust you that it's going to look amazing? <laughs> yes, you should. Okay, fantastic. And it will be done on time? Yes, definitely. You know okay. me. Okay, to the okay. lady of the home, good Thank luck. you. <laughs> Oh, the laughter doesn't even leave when we head over to Val de Vie. I'm so jealous that one of you get to win one of those apartments valued at more than 3 million rand. It's going to be such an exciting addition. While our design contestants were hard at work on, on the Val de Vie properties, I took a moment to check out some of the other facilities on offer at the estate. Take a look. When you say wine, you've immediately got my attention. Valdevi is home to some of the best wines the Western Cape has to offer. And that is why this development is so aptly called The Vines, where you can find a starter home or something slightly bigger. Divine, isn't it? Already boasting a vineyard, equestrian facilities and more, the newest addition to the Valdevi lifestyle is the neighbouring Pearl Valley Golf Course. Golfing enthusiasts, boy, do I have a treat for you. Or if you're just somebody who likes the rolling greens and the wide open space, this is the Jack Nicklaus designed golf course on Pearl Valley Estate. The championship Pearl Valley course is among the top golf destinations in the country and attracts local and international golfing enthusiasts. Well, Pearl Valley has recently become part of the Valdivia estate, which means that all of this could be your new backyard. Spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> and last but not least, the Polo Village, where our three winter home apartments are based. This is the perfect combination of lock up and go and estate living. So, here to tell us more, Reg Nietling, marketing director from Valdivia. Ray! Hey, Danilo. How are you doing? Very good with you. Very good, thanks. Oh, welcome. I've fallen in love with the place. It is absolutely incredible. And there's so much on offer. How do you guys cater for different types of lifestyles? Yeah, for us, it was really the secret to our success. Uh, you know, like along with security, uh, when we bought Pearl Valley, we knew that uh, it would be a very big draw card for all the golfers and people that love that kind of, you know, lifestyle. Here at Valdeby, we've got the equestrian side, and we've got the wine farm, we've got miles of trails to run and bike. We've got gyms, indoor and outdoor, pools, indoor and outdoor, we've got tennis courts. So there really is something for everybody here and so far people love it and, and, and you can just see it in the sales. So they say diamonds are a girl's best friend, but Valdivie's new friend is Pearl Valley. Well done on the acquisition. Thank you very much. It was, a, it was a dream of ours for a long time. You know, fortunately things worked out and I mean they're our next door neighbors and it just really made sense. And, and I think the combined amenities that we can offer now to our residents um, and our future residents is just really unmatched anywhere in the world. We've We've traveled all over the world looking at these type of estates and, and uh, we couldn't find a place anywhere in the world that has a golf course with the quality of the Pearl Valley Golf Course uh, and the equestrian facilities, the open areas and you know you can't create that anywhere. So it's close to Cape Town, it's close to the University in Stellenbosch. We're very excited obviously, we've invested a lot of money, time, effort and passion not just into Valdivia and Pearl Valley but also into the, into the greater community and we really believe in this valley and uh, um, I think when people come here, they see that passion. Sure, and one of our viewers gets to call you their neighbor very, very soon. So what does the future hold for this incredible neighborhood? Well, it's our vision to make this really a secure place, you know, for families and people to really come live their dreams. Um, just like us, all the, all the shareholders live here permanently. We're very passionate about it and uh, yeah, we just want to create the secure environment for people. With all these amenities, uh, we've got schools as well coming, hotels, but it's very important that we keep that 
uh, you know, community feel. We also believe in, you know, like the greater community and, um, yeah, and, and, and to keep it safe. Unfortunately, in South Africa, you know, security is a big issue and uh, we really pride ourselves on our security. And so safety is definitely our number one priority here at Balderby. So it is such a beautiful neighborhood. I really, really can't wait for one of you to win the home. If you haven't entered the competition yet, head over to privateproperty.co.za, click on the win a home link and enter now. But I have to ask you something, because I've always wondered this. If I live on Valdivie Estate, am I called a Valdivinian, a Valdivonian, a Valder Knight? Like, what do you call it? You're called a legend <laughs> and a very smart man. I like this guy, he can stay. Well, remember that you can experience the beauty of Valdivy for yourself. If you're the lucky grand prize winner of one of those three completed apartments, make sure you head over to Valdivy, uh, private property, in fact, .co.za and vote for your favorite design contestant's uh, bathroom or room or house to stand a chance to win. Vote for your favorite design contestant's bathroom on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning Plascon paint to the value of 5,000 Rand. You also automatically get entered into the draw to win one of the three finished apartments valued at over 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.